I've covered quite a few IPs on this channel, haven't I? This is one I haven't touched yet, and I don't expect I'll touch again because I don't even remember how much I consumed it, which is strange. Because I know like the major characters, and I recognize the villains, but I don't know their names and weird things like that. I don't know. Here we are. Here's one of those random little GBA games I had many years ago that I don't know if I ever even finished. But here we are. Oh, oh son of a... Give me a second here. Alright, I thought I had my controller configured. Now we're good. Okay, so here's Mojo Gogo, -Go, which all I really remember about it is I, I remember what playing it is like one up, but I mostly remember that it's just kind of hard, at least it was for me. That's not a lot of options. I guess you don't need a lot of options. It has, <laughs> I guess this has battery saving, saving it saves your high scores, which for some reason I remember this having passwords or something instead. It'd be fun if you had high scores without having battery save, and what I mean by that is just saving the game at all. So I believe the whole thing here is you need to collect a certain number of jewels. Of oh. Hi. Thank you for interrupting me, announcer. I believe the main gimmick with going through the levels in this game is you need to collect enough gems. Is he, like, stealing bricks? What's happening here? Oh. Oh, okay. That, that's his big diabolical plan, a brick. Surely the best mastermind that Townsville is yet to see. Remember him being a bit smarter. You know, I kind of wonder why it's always been this big trope gemstones being a source of power. I mean, think about it. Crash Bandicoot. Zog the Hedgehog. Here. All sorts of things. Hey, even Star Wars, actually, to a degree. The city of today. I don't know why that is. In some of those cases, there are actually gems that are infused in some weird... with some weird kind of power, but in, in this game, it's just kind of... They're, they're gems. And for some reason, they're helpful for something or other. Well, yeah, I know that. I admit, this is actually probably one of the better intros I've seen to a GBE game of this nature. Bye, Professor. So, I've seen, because I've seen, I need to remember how to do this. There's a break button for some reason, you know, it's also just how you do other things. If you have break and accelerate buttons, it's just kind of weird considering you can already press directions to the same thing. I'm guessing you... I like how your companions are not in any capacity to help you. I don't know what that does. It's one of those games where you're supposed to read the manual before playing it, and I have not read that manual in a very long time. But I believe the big thing here is you need to pick up enough gems in each level for that level to truly count as completed. There, oh, that's what it does. You can pick them up. I thought you had to do something that kind of punch related. There are lots of power ups in this. Eh. Oh, that's my way. Darn it. Yes, you can pick up various things. 
but yes, yeah, so the only the character you're actually actively playing as does anything of any value, which is a little weird. But you might have noticed that the first level said we need a certain number of gems. Yeah. For, for not to get hit by cars. I want to switch characters now, actually. I believe that dark portion of my health bar is the part is health I can regenerate as a gas. I actually don't remember at any point having regenerated health or having known of a mechanic like that when I first played this. I don't have that upgraded yet. Or anymore. There you go. So I'm guessing Blossom now is gonna... There we go. I remember this! Little mini boss you can fight here. Yeah, Blossom's healing now. Okay, cool. Oh, what? Wait. There's a... What happened there? There's a extra little mini boss you can fight in there. That's one of the only things I remember about this game. That little secret, so to speak. But it probably gives you a lot of gems. Or at least points. But anyways, again, about the gems, which I'm keeping up interrupted by. I believe the whole ordeal is that you need to collect a certain number of gems in each level to actually... I'm sorry. Nose pitches. To actually unlock the game's ending. You can complete every level and just survive, of course. But it's another thing entirely to actually unlock the ending. Maybe I did remember that characters can heal, now that I think about it. Thanks for cheering me on, you two. It's going to actually help me in some more meaningful way. Okay, yeah, don't punch a car. Bad idea. Ah. Yeah, it's a bit hard to find good use for the punching. I feel like it does more damage. In fact, I have a great punch right now. I remember only ever really using it before when I had upgraded in some capacity. Right now, at least, we have an upgrade for it. So that's the main motivation, at least, for fighting enemies, other than just survival. So even enemies that don't seem particularly dangerous are still important to go after. In fact, they're probably ideal since they're easy pickings for gems. I don't believe you can attack upwards or downwards, though, in case you're wondering. I do think I remember all the ice stacks for all the different levels in this game, for some reason. There we go. That's what I need. I, so, with that, I believe I just picked up is... What well, I did just now is it healed me, but if you don't have... If you've actually run out of life with one of the three, then what will happen is they also may become disabled for the time being. You can't play as them anymore. And the only way to get them back is to pick up one of those little power buffer items. I have a really hard time using this punch in any meaningful, effective a way. I believe that guy just heals you or something like that nature. I don't know the star I believe the star enables some sort of attack, if I remember right. And I might not remember right. Thanks for going so slow and letting my power-ups time out. Power-ups do last a pretty long while at least. Oh yeah. Fuck these. Oh, they're uh fuck these little bosses. Can you go somewhere I can actually hit you? Please. I like to attack behind me. Let's take advantage of our inability to actually face other directions. I don't think you attack him when he's doing that, in particular. There we go, jeez. Ah. I don't know why he's invincible when he's doing that. I have no explanation for it. Okay, died off screen. At least everyone survived. Darn it! Okay.
So we didn't get enough gems, as you can see now. Which means we'll have to redo this level later. Why well, is pressing up and move back in the left? But, uh, I did get a high score. It's kind of weird. I don't remember if you can go back to levels or not. No, no, no we're, we're good. We're good. Thank you, start button. So now I want to see if I can actually make that enemy appear in that bush. Because that was the one thing that I missed that I nearly could have gotten. By the way, as far as I'm aware, there's no actual distinction between each of the three characters. I don't think Blossom plays any differently than Bubbles or anything like that, for instance. I guess we'll... This is a, the levels in this game are longer than I had remembered. I think that's part of why I always had some degree of difficulty in this game. Because the levels are kind of marathonish. I guess it just does more damage. At least it does now that I have the upgrade punch. It still doesn't feel very appealing. It's just too dangerous to go close to enemies. Eh. Something to keep in mind, though, that can be a little annoying is if you defeat an enemy, even if you get points for your and whatnot, you need the actual ah, gem they drop for it to actually be worth much of anything. Give me. I don't really know what the point of the shockwave is. It doesn't do that much damage. It doesn't seem to do more damage than... ...attacking with the laser wood. Alright, then. Let's try to pick this thing up. So, I know there's something in here. Unless it's in a later bush or something weird like that. I just missed it. Or if you have to wait or something weird like that. I know there's an enemy that appears in here. Unless it's in another bush. It's weirding me out. So I would like to show that thing off. Right at the. See if I remember it later. Okay, managed to attack nevertheless. I don't know what the point is of these enemies that don't actually attack you. From Mojo's perspective. Go away! Don't punch them, always. I guess that's the thing. That was not working. Now then. So you also probably know this, the power-ups are specific to one character, so if you want to most effectively use them, you need to be mindful of who picks each one up. And we need 180. I definitely don't have 180 right now. I didn't actually pick up the gems these guys drop. Makes it a lot harder to do anything productive. I don't think there's any way to do anything like multiplying gems you get or anything like that either. You just need to face a number of enemies and pick up what they drop to, of course. But we're getting close, but of course we got close last time too. And everything this level is the same, so it's hard to tell how far we are. That. Okay, why did that hit one of you? I think I should have hit one of the two. We haven't gotten to the extra life yet, at least, so I know we're not at the end. Okay, now we have. Great. For some reason, that little sprite for the extra life pickup, when it turns to Blossom, I just think it looks like she's wearing a hat. 
just have having a bow. Okay, now we're got now we're good. Go away. Right, right as I noticed that she was on health. Yeah, so having trouble with this already is probably a bad sign, because I figured that since time has passed and I'm not as bad at games as I used to be, I probably won't have too hard a time with this game. Like I did it back in the old days when I used to play this. I'm apparently wrong. Thing is, if that star is indeed a special attack, I feel like you might actually need all three characters present to use it or something like that. Or it might be weaker if you don't have all of them. We'll see. Okay, if it is an attack, it's not but the button I just thought it was. Unless I just can't use it right now, which is also possible. I can't attack you when you're doing that. So he doesn't even actually have that much health since... I can't hit it at... Often anyways. I don't know why he's just invincible when he sings to... Oh, oops, don't stay on the bar. I knew you shouldn't do that, but I forgot the... There we go, you'd see his little death sprite at least. But I forgot I was sitting here. I got fewer, way fewer points, got, but more gems. Awesome. Okay, points are not the... way to victory here. Apparently. Kind of weird. But yeah, so you need to get every piece of this blueprint here to actually move on to the final portion of the game. But we'll see that. What am I, what am I selecting right now? That was weird. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next time, the next episode, where we hopefully don't have such a horrible time actually doing a decent job of this game. We'll see. Bye, everyone.